All right, are we ready to die? Heck yeah, we're ready to die. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brownie, wants, Brownie wants to die too. Yep. Okay, but you better move him, honey, in case he gets splashed. That would be sad. Onto my head he goes. Onto your head he goes. Okay, so what we have now is we have that little bit of dye stock that we mixed up. Um, and that was a teaspoon of powder mixed with a small amount of water. And it doesn't matter at all how much water you use. And then we have that gallon of chemi chemical water. And we've marked a one-third and two-third lines on the gallon jug. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make dye stock with the first third of the chemical water. And then we're going to lower just the first quarter of our pillowcase into that dye stock. And we're going to let it sit for 20 minutes. Yep. And then we're going to add some more water and dilute the dye stock, lower the pillowcase, let it sit for another what? For another 20 minutes. And then what do we do? And then we... We're going to add the last third. Yep. So we're going to have a... Even, so we basically we're going to start with a bucket that has a little bit of dye in it. And we're going to put a little bit of the pillowcase in. Then we're going to dilute the dye, put more pillowcase in, dilute the dye, put more pillowcase in. And the reason why we've made it in the thirds, not fourths, is because the fourth quadrant of the pillowcase is not going to have any color on it at all besides white. Exactly. But so, you could divide your pillowcase or your dye stock into more or sections less. or less, depending upon how many stripes you wanted. Okay. Yeah. So if you wanted nine stripes, you could make nine ninths, but, well, you would actually make eight eighths to dip it in, but that would take way too long. <laughs> it would take way too long, that's true. All right, so I've got a bucket. Now, my bucket is actually... A big container of um, pH plus, which is another word for sodium carbonate. Which is we emptied. Which is <clears throat> already emptied. And I, I, again, I'm a dyer. I use a lot of these chemicals. But so you could use any mop bucket that holds a good two gallons or so. Um, and it doesn't even have to be round. You could, there's a lot of, you know, Tupperware or Rubbermaid containers that are about this, that hold a good couple of gallons. Okay. But so what do we add first, Logan? We are going to add a little, all of this dye, right? Okay, so dump it right in. Uh, oh, I just have to squeeze. Well, twist. Ah. There we go. And it rained dye that day. As the dye guards of color dropped it down into a bucket. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, now what do we do? Um, we're going to pour in... The chemical water. This line. All right. Do you want me to do that, or, or can you do that? You can do that. I okay. can pour milk, so I can pour chemical water. Okay. And then it rained even more that day, as the gods of dying dropped in chemical. Okay. I take a look. Uh, How are we doing? <laughs> not even there. Which was not necessary. As good as dying. Uh -oh. Take a look. Take a look. Ooh. Ooh, mommy was psychic, right? You can pour in. Oh, you could pour a little bit more in. Go. And then the last little drops of condensation. No, a little more. A little more. No. Okay. Yeah, we gotta like... Um, no, nope. a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a choosy, choosy thing. How's that? That's even. Okay. Now, um, so the chemical water and the dye is really mixed up. But look what we got on the sides now, buddy. Little, do we have little specks? Yeah, we have okay. tons of little specks. I'm going to try to... I'm going to just kind of try to get those to come down. Okay. All right. Now, you rinse your hands off in the rinse bin. Right there. Oh, man. Okay. This feels really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, moms, um, be uh, aware. The first time a kid who has gloves on their hands puts it in water, they really love the feel of it and will spend, oh, I don't know, about an hour playing with it if, they, if you let them. So, um, just know this. Um, I've died... I've done tie-dye day with Seven. many, many, many years worth of classes of both Liam and Logan's classes. And um, I always find this to be true, whether the kids are kindergartners or fifth graders. Yep. Okay. So now we've got our clean hands and we've got our pillowcase. It's Professor Brownie. All right. And so which side, Logan, do you want white? Do you want the open side white or the closed side white? I like the open side white. Okay. So we're going to start... Here, can you do this part? Yeah. Okay. Are my hands dry? Yeah. Okay. Here. 
So you're going to lower in just to the very first set of safety pins. That's why we put them in there. All right. Because when you're lowering this. All right. All right. Come Keep on. going. All right. So why are we? <laughs> it's kind of hard to show you and us where the safety pins are at the same time. So um, you just got to look okay. down in their bucket. So I'm going to peek and Logan's just going to hold. All right. All right. I see safety pins submerged on both sides. Okay. So now just lay it over. It's okay if a little bit of the darker dye gets a little bit higher up than you want it to. Yep. It's totally, we're going to have a nice cool edge and you can see that the, the dye is actually wicking up the fabric a little bit. So you're going to have a kind of gradated effect within each section. Okay, so now what you do is you set a timer or look at the clock or whatever for 20 minutes and you, I don't know, play with gloved hands in water for 20 minutes until it's time to come back and add some more of the chemical water. Okie doke. So it has been how long? Uh, about 20 minutes. About 20 wow. minutes. And there's Professor Brownie still having fun. Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put, add, brownie, on my head. put brownie on the head. And then we're going to um, add some more chemical water to our dye bath to dilute it. And then we're going to lower the pillowcase down more. So um, we're going to have... Uh, more dilute dye stock and we're going to put more of the pillowcase in. Now you could just pour the dye stock in but you're going to get a lot of splashes and stuff. So I think better to have someone, probably the mom, lift it out. And this is where you can see a little bit of what's going on. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see how beautiful it is. Okay. So Logan is going to pour in complete with... Yeah, you got a lot of pouring to do, buddy. Keep going. And it rained more on the bucket kitchen. All right, take a look. How are we doing? And it's perfect. It is perfect? Let me see. It's a nice rainy season. And no, honey, it's not. you got a whole other centimeter to go. Okay? And then the second stall. All right, that's enough. Let's see. Is that good? Nope, a little bit more. How is it now? Does that look about right? Yep, that's good. So now we lower it back down to the. Hey, you want to help me, bud? You help kind of push it in there, okay? We got to get all. We got to get the second set in there. Come on, put your, put your hands in. There you go. Push. No, down below, honey. Oh. There. So you're gonna get your hands blue, and that's okay. Up. All right. Now, do you see? Here, it needs to go down more, doesn't it? Almost. Almost. How are we doing? They're almost submerged. Yes, they are submerged. Okay, now pull out and I'll put your hands right in the bath. And Yay. then pull this over like that. Okay. All right. And so, uh, now we let this wait for how long? 20 minutes. Another 20 minutes. And so now the bottom half is getting even darker. And now we're adding some newly dyed stuff that's going to get dyed, but not so much. Okie doke. All right. We are ready for adding the last third of the chemical water. Okay. And there's Professor Brownie. Whoa. Okay. So just like before, I lift this out of the way so we can add the chemical water without splashing up onto the part of the pillowcase we don't want to be blue. All right, so just now just dump the last third in, buddy. Chug, chug. Okay. And see, the act of pouring all that in actually mixes up the dye stock, so you don't have to worry about whether it's mixed or not. Okie doke. So now we're going to put that down, and just like before, we're now going to try to dunk this into the third set of 
uh, safety pin. So again, Logan, you you put it in while I hold it out. Careful. I hope your hands were clean. Yeah, my they hands were. were clean. Okay. All right. So he's pushing it in, and then now it's not submerged. Oh, okay. There we go. And so now. What we're going to do is put a couple of clothes pins to hold the to hold the top. How come? Because um, if we put clothes pins there, then this won't fall in. Right. Because remember when we made that other pillowcase and uh, it fell in? Yeah. Like we managed to wash it out, so it's still. It's yeah. Fine, anyway, so we've learned from experience that when you get to the top, this may want to fall in, and so if you just grab a couple of um clothes pins or binder clips or anything and just clip it on there but so again now we have a, a much more dilute stock and then the the third part of the pillowcase is submerged for another how long 20 minutes. another 20 minutes and then we're going to be done with the dyeing okie doke now is the fun part rinsing it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift it out of the bucket and we're going to squeeze the excess dye back into the bucket. And then we're going to lower it into this big bucket of clean water. Okay, can you do that Logan? Uh-huh. And so the reason we're doing this is, well here, just give me those. Um, you could definitely do this in a sink, but of course if your sink is in a nice part of your house, uh, you, you don't want to spill dye on it, so you cannot. You don't have to have a sink at all. Well, honey, now squeeze it. Here, I'll hold the top. You squeeze that. Okay. And so what we want to do is, I'm if we, it. yeah, you're milking it. You're milking the dye out of the pillowcase. We want to get all of the soda ash, which is the thing that makes the dyes react with the um, fiber, out, and then um, we won't have what's called back dyeing. So, all right, that's enough. So now just lower, oh, your hands are blue. I'm going to go. Well, <laughs> he's got to go wash them off in our old rinse bucket, but of course you could also walk, wash them off in the big rinse bucket that was right in front of you, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, so now lower it in. It just, it, it went over a makeover. It's super skinny now. Yeah, I know, right? But so what we can do. Just drop the whole thing in? Is what I want to do. Look at that cool line. Isn't that awesome? Oh. Awesome. Um, for now, we'll just leave the rest of the white stuff out. Okay? And not precariously dangling. And not precariously dangling into the dye that we just pulled it out of. Okay? And so, um, what's going to happen is we're going to dilute out whatever dye and whatever soda ash is left. Okay? And, um, and we're going to leave, as you can see, some of this pillowcase is plain white. Um, so it'll stay white. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let it, let it just soak in this bucket for an hour. And then we're going to come back, and we won't show you a video of that because that's boring. But um, we'll come back in an hour and we'll rinse out the, um, we'll pull it out of this bucket and we'll put it in another bucket. And then after that we'll run it through the washing machine and the dryer and it will be good to go. Hi guys, it's Candy Glenn Dunning again. And Logan too. And Logan too. And Professor Brownie. And Professor ahead. Brownie as well. And we just wanted to come back and give show you the finished product. The finished product. So again, what does ombre mean, Logan? Shaded. And as you can see there are four shades. One here, one here, one here, one here. So there we go. We've got a shaded from a dark turquoise to a light to a sky blue to a to a white. Yep. And uh, hopefully this little tutorial um, get you all set up and you can have striped pillowcases all over the house. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.